seemed like you know you were organizing the the orchestra from uh, with twelve assists, like uh, seven in the fourth. Um, yeah, I think it started in the first quarter though. Playing a lot of unselfish basketball, especially in the first half and second half, we uh, warmed down, I think, a little bit. We kept moving, we kept running at a faster pace, and uh, I think eventually warmed down and uh, played great team basketball. And you showed that uh, you won, uh, wanted more of a victory, guys, I think. Because uh, it was a loss for today's night. Uh, this, this is the way we have to play. First, the Olympiacos, we have to play like this uh, every game. It doesn't matter if we win or lose. And uh, the biggest thing for us now is to learn from the past and come out of a win and refocus for next game and play the same. We have to play as if we're the underdog. It doesn't matter who we're playing. Mm -hmm. Taylor, uh, this night it came, the, the big push came from Olympiacos' second unit, which doesn't happen very often. So, is that a message, uh, you know, from uh, the guys from the bench that uh, they can do it too? I think the second unit has been uh, showing themselves uh, all season. I don't think uh, we've been coming in and being a weaker unit. I think the biggest thing we can do is uh, give a lift uh, mm -hmm. to the starters. So it doesn't matter what's happening, how much, uh, how many minutes we're playing. We got to come in and, and do what we can uh, as a second unit. Like I said, <coughs> with whatever minutes you get. As a whole unit, do you still believe in uh, the playoff goal? We believe in tomorrow, so uh, we're going to come back tomorrow or the next day and uh, get ready for practice and get ready for our next game. So it's a victory. Are you counting the victories? You need more. That's one victory, and uh, we have a game in uh, I think six days, and we got to go on the road and beat a team that's very tough that uh, came in here and beat us. So we got to focus on that. Thank you.